Rob, you guys last year had the opportunity to win a game late when your team was eliminated. You lost seven straight to close out the year. How does it feel, I guess, from the standpoint of you guys didn't get the opportunity to, to have a win to, to show that the progress that you guys were working towards is something that could be fortified with a win, basically? Uh, it's disappointing, you know what I'm saying? We don't play this game to lose, and we don't work to lose, we don't dream to lose, you know? Just, it's disappointing, it doesn't, you know, it's not what, we, what we're here to do. What do you think the next offensive coordinator of this team should have as an identity for this offense? Um, I mean, one can only hope that we're consistently, you know, successful, flowing, and, you know, I just think just let um, people do their best at consistently, you know. Was that something you struggled with this year? I mean, yeah, this year to me, you know, you know, team-wise, statistically-wise, you know, it doesn't check my, it doesn't, you know, I don't, it's not, I don't, it doesn't get a check mark, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get back to it starting tomorrow and keep growing and keep building and keep getting better, you know. And, you know, the thing is, you know, can control what you can control, you know. Thank you. Let's go to David Newton, followed by Will Conkle. Hey, Robbie, um, I wanted to ask you, what is your evaluation of the quarterback position as you go into the offseason? Hey, Robbie, um... That's Scott. That's for um, Coach Rule and Scott Fitter. That's for Scott Fitter and Coach Rule to answer. I ain't going to touch on that. Do you be comfortable if they didn't make some changes there? I just want to win, you know, and win the Super Bowl, be all pro, pro bowler, you know, and be the best I can be for my team. You do that with the, the quarterback you have in, uh, here now? You know, I don't think we're going to the playoffs this year. I don't think I'm going to the Pro Bowl this year. And I'm not all pro this year. Hey, Robbie, did uh, you cut that route short or flatten it off on that interception on Sam? That's what it kind of looked like, but I don't know what, you, what happened there. No, you know, my, from my understanding of my years of playing football, it's a post, you know what I'm saying, and it's a down the field throw. And from my knowledge of my years of playing football, what I've always been taught is when you run a post, it's going to be a deep throw. So dig out of it, don't look right away. It's not an end, it wasn't an end cut, you know. That's, that's, that's my side of it. That's what I've been always done as I played football. And I, anybody that has played football knows that when you have a deep throw, you don't look immediately, you dig out of it for like three good strides and expect the ball over the top. I guess the play call was different, the quarterback saw something different, and throughout the week, you know, I didn't practice. You know, and this is me taking accountability. I was working hard all week to get healthy to play, you know what I'm saying? So I guess throughout the week, something different was taught on that route. But from what I've been taught and what I know, when I run that route, is to dig and look down the field, and that's what I was trying to do. We're tight on time. Let's make up. Scott, you're on mute. Oh, I just, sorry, Robbie. I just wanted to hear about the throw you caught for the touchdown. Uh, you know, just, you know, doing what I feel like I'm capable of doing. And, you know, it's crunch time. You know, I'm trying to win and make something happen, and that's what I did. You sound sort of unhappy in general, though. Is it fair to characterize you as frustrated? Yeah, man, we, we, it's my sixth year, I'm not going to the playoffs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't play this game to go home and sit on my couch and watch other people win and hold up a Super Bowl trophy, you know what I'm saying? And if, if, if I didn't care, I wouldn't have worked hard all week to come play, and as some people would say, a meaningless game, you know what I'm saying? Like. I love football. Like I, this is what I, I don't. It's not just about money with me. Like you know what I'm saying. Like 
means everything and more to me and everything I try and do in life. I, I work hard to be great in every aspect from football to how I treat my family, the clothes I put on, I'm trying to be great in every category. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I'm not first. I'm not going to play football again until September while I got to watch everybody else in the country play football still.